Hello, hello, and welcome to this week's video. I am super excited to do this one for you because I am truly of the belief that this will be a game changer in terms of how you look, and it is simple wardrobe tricks to look 10 years younger. The steps are easy and they're basic, but once you get it down, I promise you it'll be a system and people will be looking at you, scratching their heads, wondering, what on earth have you done? And yes, there is one little hack that you can do right now that will automatically make you look 10 years younger, whether you change out your wardrobe or not. And I'm gonna save that little trick for you at the end of this video. But let's talk about some of the basics. And I think that a lot of us tend to get very simple as we mature and we seem to limit ourselves in terms of what we think is appropriate, what we think is flattering and will suit us. And I'm here to say that some of the things that you think may be working for you could in fact be aging. So I'm gonna launch right into it and we're gonna start with something that I think everybody universally feels comfortable in and that is all black. Now. Black is tricky. Yeah, it's slenderizing, it's easy, you don't have to figure a lot out, but here's the problem. It can be really harsh against skin tone that gets lighter and more ashy as we age, and it can accentuate the hollows under the neck and the eyes. So ditch the all black from head to toe and break it up a little bit in some skin softening neutrals like beiges, tans, or grays. So here I take the all black look and I'm replacing the jacket with a tan double breasted houndstooth blazer. And I'm matching it with something a little softer and flirty. It's still black, but it's not up against my face. It's a black skirt that's got some youthful detail to it. And by the way, skirt lengths vary just like jeans do these days. So find skirts that suit you, but make sure it has a youthful flair to it. Now I'm putting a little white tank top underneath the jacket to kind of brighten up the neck and the face area. And then strappy cage sandals in neutral and that elongates the leg and it will balance out the color tone from the top. There's nothing wrong with the black pantsuit that you're seeing here, but it's something that I personally would save for important interviews where I want to convey a sense of severity and professionalism. This look also would be great for a job interview and you could even break it up with a jewel tone collared shirt just to add a little bit of color around your face while still maintaining that take me seriously air about you. But I want to get you away from doing all black from head to toe and I think popping in a little bit of a neutral especially around the face will make all the difference in terms of how your skin tone reads it. And as you saw in that jacket it had black in it, but there's also enough tan in it to balance it out and soften it against my face. So hopefully that gives you some options in terms of how you look at all black, especially against your skin tone. The next area where I think a lot of people are uncertain and tend to make more mistakes, and that is patterns. I'm not saying shy away from patterns and that you have to be in solids for the rest of your life. It's not true, but choose your patterns wisely. And this right here shows a great example of why you need to be careful. Hard geometric lines can look really strict and aging as well as the darker colors. So in this case, you might wanna opt for lighter, brighter shades with softer and more curved patterns. Also, note the difference in the structure of these two dresses. The longer one hides more, pleats can add weight right around the midsection, and the shorter arm mid sleeve can add some weight, especially with elbows exposed if you don't feel your arms are very toned. The blousey chest area with the necktie, yes, it's soft and feminine, but if it's too blousey, it can make the bust area look very large with too much fabric. The other dress in comparison has a nice V-neck elongating look with long sleeves that are flowy and have a little bit of flair to them. That length in the arm creates length in the body. The wrap style, I believe, is universally flattering, especially cinched in at the waist. And then this dress has a flare that goes out over the hip and through the leg creates nice movement and flow, which is very youthful. The colors to me are divine. They brighten up the skin. And the color scheme offers better choices in terms of makeup colors as well. And that can take age off. And by the way, I will link my simple makeup tips to look 10 years younger as well so you can complete the whole look here. But don't forget about shoe choices as well. 
flattering shoes need to be a little bit softer and strappier. As you can see, the ones that I'm wearing with the heavier pattern dress are too chunky and too thick. They're not very feminine. They bring a lot of focus down to the ankle. But you pop in a real pretty peach heel with a strappy ankle. It elongates the leg. It's another beautiful detail for the eye to go to. It complements the colors in the dress and it it continues that sort of feminine flair that you're seeing with a little pop of color. Jewelry in this case, very simple. You don't wanna compete with your pattern. So again, a light gold necklace might be all that you need and that's it. But the difference between these two patterns I think are striking and really drive home the point that you've gotta be careful with your pattern choices. I've heard people say that you shouldn't opt for large pattern sizes, but that's not really true. It's the right pattern size. If you go big, make sure again, like they're soft and round and the color choices are more youthful and flattering. The next thing is update your denim game, all right? The skinny jeans look with that thick wedge is so yesterday and it's gonna have you screaming, I'm ready for carpool and a glass of rosé. A thick shoe draws attention to the calf and it makes your bottom half look heavier. So let's update this denim look with a more modern and universally flattering look. And you've got so many options here. That's the beauty of jeans this season. Right now, the ankle crop is all in and I love the fact that you can go either fitted or loose, mid-rise or high-rise in the waist. So pick what suits your body style best. I personally love high-rise jeans because they really elongate the leg and they prevent muffin top. Now your jeans can be frayed on the bottom or they can be cuffed. Just please, not too many rips or tears. You look like you're competing with your 20-year-old daughter. Just keep it modern and classy. You can wear it with a light and flowy top that doesn't hide the waist area. It'll give you a really nice youthful edge to it. So will a little moto jacket on top if it gets cool at night. The ankle crop also gives you killer footwear options. Here, shoe choices are really endless. This style, in my opinion, looks great with a booty, especially one that has a pattern or some neat detail with it. Also, mules are really popular this season and they are a modern looking flat that will give you some comfort, um, but some style points too. And then of course, you can always kick on a nice strappy heel and that updates this look for nighttime, dinner date out, time with friends, whatever. But but that's what's so neat about the ankle crop jeans is that the eye immediately goes to the shoe. So you've got a lot of options here. Uh, in fact, my last video that I did talked about accessories that are trending and the square toed shoe is really in. That's another one that I would pair with the ankle crop jeans. But I love the fact that if you search jean trends, there's so much available to you. There's no one look. It was only the skinny jean, and now that is not the case. Mom jeans, looser fitting jeans, high-waisted jeans, but give it some ankle exposure and you are totally in. Next up is avoid high and rounded necklines as well as jersey material. I know jersey material, everybody loves it because it's comfortable, but here's the issue with jersey. It tends to stick to any bulges that are popping out, only accentuating areas that you're probably trying to hide. High round necklines also cut you off. They tend to make you look heavier in the chest area and they don't elongate. And then adding to the trouble is a short and rounded necklace. So the way to avoid this look, which makes you look wider and dated, is to pop in a nice v-neck top that elongates you and it allows for more jewelry options. Collared shirts can accentuate the jawline. They add even more of a modern edge. So here you can layer some nice simple gold jewelry to add a little pop to it. You could even do a simple small pattern if you didn't want to work with a solid. But in my opinion, every woman needs a nice solid crisp white blouse or a silk white blouse. To me, the white shirt is classic and you can also invest in a couple of nice colored button downs to brighten up your face. Shirt Shirts can be structured, fitted, or they can be loose. And you can do just a simple front tuck for a more casual feel here. But you take a nice, crisp, clean shirt, you pair it with a modern jean, simple jewelry, little strappy sandal, and you have completely modernized and updated your look. You wanna get away from thick, you wanna get away from too chunky because those things will only make you seem bigger and more dated. So now that we've tackled the blouse and we've tackled dresses and the all black, 
I'm going to move on to something that you probably didn't give too much consideration, and that is pay attention to your eyewear. I'm going to give you two examples and push in so that you can see the difference. Eyewear that you want to avoid, again, and it plays into that thick heaviness. You don't want to get eyeglasses that are too thick and sit too low and are rectangular especially. They only draw attention to the hollows under your eyes. Horn rim, tortoise shell especially, I'd be wary of. Black glasses are best suited in blondes because you have nice contrast, so really pay attention to size and shape. I would opt for lighter and more jewel tone colors that reflect light. In my case, the ones that I'm wearing here are sort of a khaki green and they really play up with my eye color and they have a nice gold frame on the side and that plays into the highlights in my hair. So again, you can go with jewel tones, reds, even clear. Look at the shape. Certain shapes like a cat eye can lift up the face, can accentuate the cheekbones, or a more rounded frame can soften hard lines in the face. So play around. What I would encourage you to do is take pictures of yourself in the glasses so that you can actually see the image of you in them. You will definitely have a more objective opinion that way, but it's really amazing how eyewear can make all the difference in terms of how you look and making you look older. So now you know what to stay away from since eyewear has also transitioned and really bloomed and blossomed and there's so much more available now. Have fun in your eye store, play with those shapes, and don't forget to take your pictures. Okay, so now the one thing that I said that will instantly make you look younger no matter what you're wearing, and it's so simple, and it's something I do all the time, and that is self-tanning. I'm doing the Airbrush Sun by Sally Hansen in medium to tan. I love it, and the colors that I featured, since we're going a little bit lighter and brighter, having some warmth and depth in your skin gives some beautiful contrast. A tan is youthful, and as we all know, this is the safe way for us ladies in our prime to achieve a golden glow. And there you have it, my simple wardrobe tips to instantly look 10 years younger, and they are simple. You don't have to go out and buy a thing, most likely. I bet you can rummage through your wardrobe and pick out and see all the things that fit what we're talking about here. And if you're looking to clean some stuff out, well, now you know where to focus. You guys have been awesome in providing me content and tips for what you'd like to see on this channel. So continue to lay it out below. I pay attention to everything that you say and I compile a list and I take it from there. I want this to be helpful. I want us all, since we have our game faces on and we're striving to be more youthful in our look, in our attitude, we need to complement that with how we dress. So with new wardrobe options here, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next Thursday at one. Bye.